you took action and put yourself in a position that you're gonna have the bigger piece of the pie. Feels even better. I'm talking to Jim Caval, disruptive entrepreneur with a passion for social impact. Now you are a huge name, entrepreneurship here in Alabama, in Birmingham. So Jim Caval, great guy. Entrepreneurs see a problem and then they see a solution. Without further ado, Jim Caval. Nice to 21, like, I, I, can I just have fun and be a kid? The reality is you're not a normal kid. It's crazy to me that sports teams and their athletes are still relying on the middleman to get their message out, instead of embracing the power of social media to run what really is their own broadcasting network of channels. TV's Nielsen ratings have been replaced by the phones, social media followers, and viewers that everyone can see for every team and its individual athletes. A sports team's total brand reach is a real stat. So are their engaged recruits and fans, just like their wins and losses. Not just from the team's social media followings, but also from the sum of the followings of the recruits, current athletes, and key alumni. In the athlete's ability to complement their team's brand, while also leveraging it to grow their personal brand, is probably the biggest deal that they're not doing. So where do we go from here? I'm a multiple time Inc. 5000 entrepreneur that has played in the sports tech and fitness franchising spaces over the past decade. And I can't watch this sports branding problem from the sidelines anymore. We are setting out to solve it through Influencer. Our software as a service helps sports teams and their athletes unify their messaging and audiences through data, analytics, and content delivery features. We want sports teams and athletes to act like broadcasters so fans can have a better sports experience on social media. And we're already working with some of the biggest brands in college sports. So will we succeed? Keep watching to find out.